There is no size fits all for nonverbal children. I have come to find that most children with autism tend to absolutely love the water. And in return, they are at higher risk of drowning. Cadet Reed has walked right off the platform and I'm going to help him only a little bit. I support him using the outside of his arms to allow him to get a breath, then make him swim back to safety. Next, I will practice breath control by taking his favorite toy and putting it on the platform. He has to go underwater to pick the toy up with his hand. This will teach him how to breathe better around the water. I do my absolute best to make sure that the child learns from their own mistakes. In the first couple lessons, Cadet Reed would climb off the swim bench and jump off the back. Because I let Cadet Reed go underwater and experience what happens, he decided to not jump off today. And instead, he decided to jump off the bench and swim over to me. He makes a valiant attempt to swim all the way over to me, but he decides to turn around in the middle of his swim. Once he turns around, I push him back to the bench so he learns to swim back to where he came from. I move the swim bench a little closer to the wall and had him jump from the bench and swim all the way to the wall by himself. We'll practice this multiple times in a lesson. When he made it to the wall, he grabbed a couple toys and tried to swim back to the bench. I let him make the attempt and I only help him a little bit throughout the swim. I help him by grabbing just underneath the armpit to give him enough lift to get some air. I will wait for as long as safely possible before I help him. And sometimes that results in him drinking a little bit of water. The one thing to remember when working with a nonverbal child is consistency. Allow them to learn from their own mistakes and very quickly you're going to start seeing results. If you want to learn more about teaching swim lessons, make sure to hit that follow. And go ahead and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.